Welcome to my weekly spiel. Welcome to my weekly spiel. Yada yada blah blah blah. Yada yada blah blah blah. It's time for Margaret's weekly spiel. Greetings and salutations. This is Margaret Franklin from Margaret Franklin Creations. And I am happy to say I'm having a better week than I was last week. As you can see, I am nearing the completion of these pillow covers that I'm making for a customer of mine. Two of these horses are based on the color scheme of her own horse. And then there are two other horses that are colors of my own choosing. I, I thought that the variegated black and gray of this mane made this horse, reminded me of the Muller Ghost horse. So um, I made this one dark brown and then I gave it reds and green trappings. Looks like a Christmas horse. I wasn't consciously thinking that, but there you go. And this is the, uh, which one? This, this is another one just like her horse. And last but not least, this one looks like Easter colors. And I'll have these all stitched together and then I have to put the backs on them. I hope I have enough Velcro left. Anyway, I have a more serious message to bring. Uh, Tuesday, I went to a class about suicide prevention. It couldn't have happened at a better time. We had a fascinating discussion and a lot to say about, like, I think they said one in 20 people contemplate suicide at least once in life. And even if mo most of, <sighs> for prune's sake, noise, noise, noise. Where was I before I was so rudely interrupted by that roar of that engine? Yeah, most of them don't carry it out, but every threat needs to be taken seriously. And I know that I've been, I just came through a really severe depression. I wouldn't say I'm completely out of the woods yet, but I do feel a lot better than I did before. I've been on medication since Sunday. I started taking my pills at three o'clock. It is almost an hour until my next pill time so i was gonna wait until bedtime the first time but my head was just spinning out of control so i'm on the same stuff jeanette takes hers her pill time is 11 30 mine's at three so i'm probably going to use the old trick of wearing two different watches when i when we go to california in september and nothing is going to stop us well um we jeanette phoned me at about quarter to nine or ten to nine last night because she was watching a YouTube video about autism and she scrolled down and found a message to someone who seemed to be crying out for help. They were talking about how they hated being autistic and life is me hopeless and they just don't want to live anymore. Well, most people who who co contemplate suicide don't actually want to die per se. Like I know I didn't really want to die but they just don't want to exist anymore. There have been the, there's this feeling of just wanting to leave my life, my body, and everything. But suicide is only a temper, per, well, it's a permanent solution to only a temporary problem. Once you're gone, you can't come back. I had a customer in Bob Cage, and one of my biggest customers. Uh, she bought bought one of my quilts and also had a custom order from me. But she. Uh, she seemed to be, she seemed to be the girl who had everything. She had a wonderful husband, beautiful farm with at least four horses and dogs. She seemed to have a really happy life. No indication that she was suffering whatsoever. And then one day she was gone, overdosed on pills. And I wish there'd been a warning. I wish that somebody could have reached out to her or, or known in time. But we, you do what you can for, for someone who's suffering. Jeanette was worried about, uh, she had a flashback about when she was, she was living at Paul's place and his son-in-law Cal was threatening to shoot himself. She called 911 and the ambulance came and took him. But she did the right thing. Everyone thinks she did the right thing. Yes, he did. Because a lot of people who like call a distress line, one of the first questions they might be asked is, are you feeling suicidal? And they're afraid to say yes, because like I said, not everyone want, really wants to die. They just want someone to talk to. But 
if they say yes, they're afraid of someone calling 911 and sending all the emergency vehicles in front of the house and staging a big embarrassing production in the neighborhood. So the smart thing to do is if you find yourself feeling horribly depressed, you just say you want to talk to someone. They'll, like, But things do get better. I am working on an order and I've got another order coming to me. I think I'm going to have a steady stream of business with my quilts that I make. I saw this presentation the other night, the National Carousel Association, and I was just blown away by the magnificent horses that Joe Leonard has made for the Hero Disney Carousel. Now that a quilt, a commission to make that quilt would be truly amazing. That, that would be a huge break to my career. Anyway, I've got stuff to keep me busy between now and then, I hope, and I will see everybody at the convention in San Francisco this September. <laughs> and I think that that about sums it up for now. Bye-bye. Be back soon. Thanks for watching Weekly Spiel.